All right, a uh, package came today. This is a generous donation uh, from one of my viewers, Ken. Uh, he owns a company called Ohio Microwave. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. He's got lots of RF and microwave type of stuff. I think it's a, like old new stock surplus type stuff. Um, he's got like all kinds of stuff. And he, uh, he reached out to me and asked me if I wanted anything. Um, and he gave me their uh, inventory list. I went, oh my goodness. <laughs> and so I basically said, um, I'm interested in certain categories. I was looking for things that I can use on the channel, right, to help to help you guys out. So uh, some things maybe I don't have or some things that I can tear down, uh, things like that. So um, he went through my list and uh, this is what he sent me. So I really have no idea what's in here. So if you don't like unboxing videos, you might want to skip this one. But uh, let's, uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, a lot of pink stuff. Oh, all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, that looks like an antenna. That's cool. Another antenna over here. This is a, a Maycom antenna. So antennas are great for the channel. Uh, we can sweep those out. We might be able to use them too. Um, and yeah, let me take some time here and uh, get the packaging removed and so you guys don't have to watch that. All right, look at all this goodness. Um, so we have some really exciting things here. Uh, like I said, we'll start with the antenna here. I don't remember what frequencies these are, but we will find out in a video, uh, an end connector. So that's really nice. And it has a way of mounting it here. So that looks pretty cool. And then there's two antennas. So this is a flat antenna. So these are always interesting to look at. Um, and what type of connectors does it have? Oh, it has T and C, threaded B and C. Okay, that's cool. So, so definitely uh, one video for antennas. <laughs> uh, let's see, what are these? Ooh, a whole bunch of them. Bandpass filter. Quantity 21. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So that's cool. There'll be a good teardown on those and measurement on those. So that is very, very cool. Uh, these are, um, ooh, circulators. So these are cool circulators. So I mentioned to him that um, I had done a video on isolators, but I didn't have any circulators. And uh, so he, he sent me a couple. So this is a circulator. This says circulators on the uh, on the little thing here. Let me see if I can open this up and we'll take a look inside here. Oh, yeah, those look interesting. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's zoom down a bit for these. Yeah, these are pretty cool. A little, a little hot. Sorry, I had the exposure up a little high there. I think that's that's probably better. So yeah, these are these are some very interesting circulators. So, okay, those all go together. And I believe, believe it or not, I believe this is a circulator. I believe it's a giant, giant, so it's very heavy. It's very, very heavy. So it must have a giant magnet in it. And it's um, end connectors. <laughs> so input, output, and load. Yeah. Um, wow. Wow. Oh man, this thing must have been a pretty penny. Uh, Maycom. Very, very cool. So yeah, so maybe a circulator video. That'll be really, really cool. Uh, what's this thing? Oh, it's got lots of, oh, this is definitely a filter. If you ever see anything that looks like this, these are all adjustments. One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So it's got 30 adjustments. Can you imagine building a filter with 30 adjustments? This antenna and channel one, channel two. So this might be a diplexer. So these are two filters, a filter over here and a filter over here. So it's a diplexer. That's way, way cool. Um, wow, this is a nice one. So I'm not sure what frequencies it operates off. This one is ClearCom technology. So probably somewhere around 2.4 gigahertz, I would imagine. Uh, so boy, that's a beauty. This is really nice. These two guys, 
These two guys are really, really beauties. Uh, he gave me some connectors. These are Midwest Microwave, the big brand name. Uh, these are nice SMA connectors for putting onto uh, cables, so I can make some nice cable assemblies with these. Um, let's see here. And then we have these two mystery boxes. This paper, these go together, so I don't want to mix them up. So these are, ah, let's see, it's also Maycom. And it has four pins on the bottom, so I'm assuming it's probably an amplifier, I'm guessing. Guessing. Uh, Mill Standard. Anzac. I don't know. We'll find out later. And then these guys are... Another one, another Maycom, and another four pin. Yes, I think these are amplifiers. So I thought maybe we'd try, we would try to build an RF amplifier. So these would be these would be super cool for that. I don't want to mix these up. Although I don't really care about that one, I guess. But um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, thank you, Ken, uh, for all of this RF goodness. I, uh, I think. We will have a lot of fun playing with this stuff. Definitely would have a lot of fun playing with this stuff, especially, oh man. <laughs> I think this is like the first thing I'm gonna take a look, try to find any data for this thing. This is like the world's largest circulator. <laughs> this thing is super, super cool.